Hey everybody, how's everybody doing today? Well, it's a Monday, the Monday after the holiday. Nice quiet day, it's nice outside, the sun is shining. Uh, the weather's a little cold, but compared to uh, Christmas Eve, it's like a heat wave. So I think it's about 35 degrees outside. Okay guys, well, today's on the menu. We're going to have sirloin boneless pork chops. You know, it look like those, um, they look like little pork medallions. Chicken and broccoli flavored rice aroni. And Brussels sprouts mixed with tomatoes, okra, corn, and sauteed onions. Okay, so I'm going to take you over here to the table and let you see me go through this process. Okay, I had to go in here and run and turn down this TV. It was just blasting. Okay, so we're going to get started here. Okay, so here are those pork boneless um, sirloin chops. Okay, I rinsed them off, washed them, just in case you can't see them, I'll just pull one out. Okay, now um, I washed them and then, um, I mean, well, washed them, rinsed them off good and patted them dry. Um, it's still a little bit wet, but mostly, you know, I dried it much as they can be dried. And um, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to season them up here. Okay, so I'm going to start with some salt. And I just put just enough to, you know, well, you see how much I'm doing. So it'll probably be about a teaspoon. No, probably yeah, about a teaspoon, a half a teaspoon. And then, so I put the salt on there. So now I'm putting the garlic powder on. And I'm going a little bit lighter than I usually do because of the fact what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this. Now this is my first time doing it like this. So this is going to be an experiment for you and for me. <laughs> so, um, this you know this is that hidden, that hidden Valley Ranch dressing. And usually, you know, I usually wait until I fry chicken and then I put this on the fried chicken afterwards. Well, I'm doing something different because I started to do cream, a mushroom soup or some cream of chicken soup because you know, that's usually what I like when I put my stuff in the crock pot. But I'm experimenting today, so we're going to see how this going to come out. If it come out nasty, <laughs> I'm going to admit it. I'm going to be like, oh, don't do that, because I'm not going to tell you something to eat that I won't eat. So, um, we're going to put that on there later, though. So, matter of fact, and I'm only seasoning one side, and I, and I did that light. Okay, so I, I put the garlic powder, and I'm going to put some onion powder on here. Like I said, I'm going light. I bet, you know, I just missed it there with that. Okay, and then we got the um, paprika. And you you know, usually I go a little dark with the paprika. I'm not even going real dark with that either. Okay, and, that, and that's going to be, well, I guess I'll put a little pepper on there too. Okay. Let's see, see what that looks like. Okay. I'm going to rub that in there. And then I'm going to turn it over. So I rubbed each piece down. And I turned each piece over. Okay. So I'm going to, um, now, you know, the other side, let me see. I think on the other side, I'm not going to do, yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to put some onion powder on there. Some onion powder. Paprika. And I'm not using the salt. I put a little bit more fabric on that side. So I'm not going to use the salt. And I'm not going to use, yeah, I'm using the garlic powder too. I'm just not going to use the salt. Okay. Now, okay, so oh, let me rub that in. And show you that. Well, I always have to show you when I, okay, so I rub that in. So now what I'm going to do. Let's put some of this ranch seasoning on here. This is going to be interesting. <laughs> ah, okay. Okay. Now what I'm doing. Okay. I'm just going to just start pouring it on the top. Because I'm going to put it on the bottom too. So I did like. Well, I'll show you. Like a, this is a quarter of the pack. On one side. Yep, I did a quarter. Let me see. Let me rub that in there. Okay. 
Okay. Turn it back on the other side. And see what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go kind of like, cause really I kind of want to put the whole pack on there, but I want to I gotta make sure that this gonna end up being salty. So I'm gonna gradually move it to this thing. So now I'm gonna put it on the other side. Okay. Okay. Let's see. So yep, I used half of the pack. I think I'm going to be cool with that. I'm not going to. If I need some more when I taste it, I'll ask more then. So I cut up some bell peppers. You see, it's just a little amount. Since, because I only got two person. I only got six pieces in there. So, you know, that's all I need. Okay. So what that is, is a, um, so I got some green bell pepper. I'll cut that up. I'm going to cut them up in kind of long slices. Matter of fact, but let me thicken them up. I'm, yeah, they need to be thicker than that. Yes, I'm thick them up a little, thicken them up a little bit. Okay, and then I just put a little bit of onion because I really I'm not in the onion mood today, so I just put a little bit of onion. And then this red bell pepper, this red, these little small red red peppers and orange pepper. I'm not gonna put them in right away. I'm gonna let it cook for a while. Then I'll put them in, um, put them in there because you know what I have? It'll turn into um, it won't be nothing. You can't. We won't have no texture. It won't be nothing there. So we're not gonna go there on that. And then I'm gonna take these peppers out. And then you know you open the peppers and always get all of them, unless you want to keep the peppers in there. And I think you know for a little heat or. But to me, I I don't want that. Let me rinse this off. Get them out of there. Then I do the other one the same way. Get that stuff them out of there. Okay. Okay. I know y'all gonna think I'm crazy. You know what? I'm taking these bell peppers out of here too. I didn't do onions too little to take out, so I ain't gonna even though I don't care about them so they can stay in there. I'ma wait, I'ma wait a little bit before I put all this in there because see I want to seal. I want to have a little crunch on them. So no, we would not do it that way. Okay, but I'll leave the onions in there because I don't care if they don't turn into nothing. I just wanna see my bell pepper. Okay, so you see I pulled them back out. <laughs> so I'm gonna let them sit there. I'm gonna go put this crock pot on and I'm gonna put it on high. Um, I'm in an hour because it's going to take probably like between two hours to three hours. So I'm going to go put it on like an hour and a half. I'll check it and then that's when I'll add these bell peppers to it. So when I get, uh, let's see, do I need to do anything else? No, that's about it. Okay, so when I get done and move on to the next step with the next part of the meal, then I'll be right back at y'all, okay? Okay, I'm back, y'all. Okay. I'm getting ready to get started making the the um, Brussels sprouts and with the vegetables, which I was telling you about the tomatoes and the okra and corn. Okay, let me show you the okra. Okay, well, you know, there you go with the Brussels sprouts. I have a few leftover ones in here, so I'm gonna start with these and then add them a pack to that. But first of all, what I'm going to do, oh, and I want to show you this. This is the tomatoes, okra, and corn I'm going to use. I saw this at the dollar store, at Dollar Tree yesterday. It blew me away. So I said, oh, let me try that. So I've, ne I've never seen that in the can before. Tomatoes, okra, and corn. This reminds me of my mom and dad used to always have this with pork chops, but they would cut all this stuff up. But uh, and, um, it, it never came in the can. If it did, they didn't, they didn't do it that way. And then I got some extra corn. Then I'm going to put, am I, do I got that up there? Super sweet corn. Yes, I'm going to put that in there. Because I know that's not going to be enough corn in there. I already know. And spending the onion. So, I, you know, of course they don't have the onions in there. So that's why I cut a half of purple onion. So let me just cut that up first. And I'm going to cut these in kind of thin pieces. And I'm going to put these in last. Well, let me don't have two. 
Yeah, I think a half onion is, that's, that's good enough. I ain't going to do overkill. See, so I just did a half onion. All right. Well, I'm busy on this one. Okay. Oh, and I want to show y'all something else I'm, I'm, I'm going to try. This is the first time I've tried this also. Um, some marinated artichoke hearts. Yeah. And you know they're the pieces. So, I tasted them because it's the first time I ever had them. I tasted them and they taste like, when I looked it up and say, what does artichoke taste like? They said similar to boiled potatoes um, in the family of like Brussels sprouts and asparagus. So I said, I like all those things, so I really got to try it. So I opened it up and oh, it, it smells so good. It smells like, it reminds me of like a pickle. Like a, like a kind of like a pickled Brussels sprout or a pickled. The texture is kind of it's kind of hard to explain. I wish I could explain to you, but it's good. If you like Brussels sprouts, Brussels sprouts, and you like asparagus, you'll like this. It's, it's like I said, it's like a pickled, hmm, like a pickled Brussels sprout. <laughs> yeah, but anyway, okay. Um, I'm I still, still trying to make sure I'm giving y'all the best description because I would want somebody to tell me exactly, but I, I think I named that good enough. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to take you guys over to the stove so I can get this stuff started. Let me get some scissors here. Really? You guys, let me twist y'all around here to the stove. Okay. Wait, what? You guys can see this is not scripted. <laughs> so let me see. Is it easy to get you up? I wonder is it better to put you on the other side? Let me put you on this side. Yeah. It might be better. Okay, yeah, there we go. I know I can't keep it that way. I wish I could keep it like that, but I'm going to have to give me another one of these things. I, that's the best it's going to do. Maybe let me see if I turn this light on. Will that help some? I, wonder, I think that might help some. Okay. Let's get this party started. Okay, so got the skillet. I'm going to put a little oil. We put about a teaspoon of oil in there. Okay. I'm not even going to let them, let's see. It's probably already heated a little bit anyway. No, that's not. I'll let it heat up just a little bit. I'm going to throw these Brussels sprouts in there. And meanwhile, let me put this pot over here because we're going to put the rice aroni in that pot. In fact, I'm not waiting now. Let me just get this started. Okay, so I need about a bag. Cause I had a half a bag and then I did a half of this bag. So, and then I'm not. I, normally, if I probably would have, let me see. I can shoot. I'm really not trying to have a bunch of leftovers because I already had all that stuff left over from the holiday. And I'm like, okay, let's let's put a um, a limit to this because <laughs> then you know you get all that stuff in your refrigerator, and then you got to try to get rid of it. You know, sit there for hours. How many hours a day? Each day, each day, each day. Okay, so there we go. Salt, garlic powder. Onion powder, paprika, and 
So you know, as you can see, the only thing that really needs to be cooked, real, you know, that's going to take a little bit of time is the Brussels sprouts. Once you get those to soften up, then you start just putting everything in and then the meal is done, really. And what I do is when I get everything in there, and it's still, you know, well, not matter of fact, before I get everything in there, like when these Brussels sprouts, if they're not warming up quick enough for me or it starts to act like they're going to burn because I don't like to keep adding grease because I don't want it to have that greasy taste. What I do is I put a little bit of broth in there. So I got it on high right now. I'm turning it down. I'm turning it down to medium. Okay, and so I'll have you guys just sit here. You might not want to see all this. So I'm, I'm going to continue to brown this. I'm warming these up. Once these get where I can, you know, break through them, because you know they, they were frozen. So once I can break through them, then I'll bring you guys back and show you when I put the other stuff in there, okay? Okay, I'm back. Okay, so now they're softening up. Let me lift this up so you can see in there. Where then? I can't see if you can see. Okay, I'm trying to get this white yellow up here with me. Okay, so I got them in here. Trying to see if you can see. Okay, yeah, so they softened up. Okay. So now what I'm gonna do is put the um the onions in there. And I get those. And I didn't still haven't added any extra um vinegar, I mean not vinegar, but vegetable oil to the pot. I'm still using the teaspoon that I had before and it's, I guess, you know, a little moisture from the, um, what you call it, the Brussels sprouts is, um, you know, helping keep the pot with a little liquid. So I'm going to keep turning and turning and see if I can go without putting any more in there. If, if not, I might need it. Put a little, another little speck in there. Let me turn the fire up a little quicker. Maybe that'll help. So I turned it back up to medium because I had it down low. Because I had the top on there to make them, the Brussels sprouts, to start cooking a little, you know, and getting thawing out and starting to cook. So that helped with the cooking process. Okay, so yeah, now the onions, they starting to render. I'm going to add just a little bit more. Let me a little more. Let's see, if I was, um, it's going to go about this a little slow, I probably would have just threw the broth in there, but I want to get this done. So, I just, you see, you guys see, I just pour just a little tad bit. It's probably wasn't even a half a teaspoon, just a little bit, just to keep this moving. Because you can see the onions are starting to cook now. Okay. So now, let's see, let me get one out here and touch it. Then I'll know how to just how punchy it is. Oh, yeah, they're crunchy. Oh. Okay. We're going to put some broth in here. I don't want too bad oil. Mmm. The mine is kind of strong today. But... You know, I'll let them run this on. Once they get in this, once they get um, tender, they're going to be so good. Okay. So, 
There you go, about, what's that, about two tablespoons of chicken broth. Okay, guys, what I'm going to do, I'm going to let this um, sit a little bit. I ain't going to have you guys just sitting here. You know, just waiting on that. I'm going to let that go a little bit. I'm going to put the top on there. And I'm going to let that cook down a little bit and let those onions um, tender up. And then I'm going to come right back at the, I'm gonna come back to you when I get ready to put everything. Because after this um, warms up, then I can just put everything together. Okay, y'all. Come back, guys. Okay, so everything. You know what I did? I, what I didn't tell you guys. What I, as soon as I turned off the camera, I put the frozen corn in there. So it can cook with the onions and the um, Brussels sprouts. Okay, now I put a quarter bag of corn. Okay, so now I'm going put, to put this on low. And I'm going to first pour in that can that we talked about with the tomatoes and the okra corn. Let me drain this off a little more. I did drain it soon, but I want all that water off of there. That those juices. Okay, might be a little bit in there left, but it ain't going to hurt us. Okay, so there we go. With that. Then... Okay, so ooh, that smells good. Ooh, yeah, that smells good. Ooh, mm, yeah. Okay. Now I'm gonna drain some of this juice off these artichoke parts. Not all of them, because I kind of like that. I kind of, mm, I kind of like that flavor. So I don't want a lot of that juice. And I just take some of these like right that. There you go. Okay. I don't, want, I don't want it to overload my meal, so I'm not going to put all of them in. I'm just going to put some. That's enough. So I just put about half of the jar in there. Okay. Stir that around. Taste that. Mmm, that's good. Okay. So you can use some more salt. Put some pepper. It's barely coming out, guys. That's why it seems like you're like, dog, how much pepper is she using? That's why I usually like a, a thing, a big thing of pepper so I can just go to town and it comes right on out. Okay. And there's something else I'm going to add to that because it needs a little, I like mine to have a little sweet to it. I thought the onions, those uh, purple onions were going to give it the sweet I wanted, but it did. So this is dark brown sugar. So I put a teaspoon of that in there. Now that should do the trick. I've got an idea of putting one more thing, but let me just want to see where I'm at on the, on the way this tastes before I get doing that. Oh, that's right. I still I could have had to put the rice on, the rice aroni on. But I, everybody know how to make rice aroni, right? <laughs> so when I get off here, what I do is I put, uh, uh, you know, the, the, I put some butter in there, which it'll be um, a quarter of a stick of butter in there. Let, let that brown. I mean, let that melt. Then throw my rice aroni in there, brown the, the rice. Then once the rice browned, then I throw the packet in there with the, with the, two cups of water. When it starts boiling, then I'll turn it down, put the top on there, and let it go. Okay. I just don't know what the juices taste like in that. Mmm. Mmm. -mm, see? Where are you just go? You just do the thing. You just do the thing. Do it. Oh, okay. I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> it's good. 
good. Wait, wow. Mmm. Mmm. That's different. That's different. Mmm. I'm glad I wasn't afraid to do this in front of you guys. Oh, if it would have came out nasty, I'd have been like, oh my god. Okay. Now, I think I'm going to leave it like that. Oh, you know what I want to taste? Oh, let me get a spoon so I can taste it with all of it on there. Okay, let me get this spoon so I can put a little bit of the artichoke heart, a little bit of the broccoli. And I wish I could get a little piece of that. Well, I already know what the what's the name tastes like. So, let me see what else did I miss? Some of that. Wait, let me try this again. I want a little. I get a little bit of this. The Brussels sprout, the artichoke part, and the um, okra, and the onion on there, a little corn on there. So I got a little everything. See how this tastes. I'm gonna let y'all see me so that if I make that face, y'all gonna know whether it's good or not. Cause you're gonna be like, ooh, look how she was looking. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. That's good. Now I ain't, now I ain't joshing. I'm gonna try that. Okay. I'm gonna get on off here now. I'm gonna turn this off. And let me see what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put this rice on. I gotta go check the um pork chops. And I'll be and I'll be right back, okay guys.